this morning when I ran a search and it was a simple search just on Twitter, I typed in the CSRC and this was one of the things that popped up. Now, let me make it the large screen and we'll visit about this just briefly. I actually got ahead of myself. Uh, I got kind of excited and initially followed this account. And then I was like, whoa, 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 Aaron, just slow down. You see, I don't like to follow people if it's research related until I've kind of monitored them and, and tracked them and what they're putting out for a few months. That helps me make sure that I've got good you know, sources that I'm going to. It's also really hard to find truly neutral um, folks when it comes to China and the US. So because I haven't spent several months kind of vetting this account, I decided to unfollow, but I will keep an eye on it now kind of moving forward and, and we'll see what else comes out from this account. But uh, the rumor and what we've seen since then is throughout the day, several other places have now reported that it sounds like the CSRC, now that is the Chinese regulatory body, and they're really the pivotal point for allowing, or rather from keeping delisting from happening, because they need to allow the PCAOB to come into China and do on-site inspections. And once that is sort of signed off on, then the PCAOB has already said that they're willing and ready to travel to China. And in the backdrop, I also saw that the travel restrictions uh, are now even easier. There's even less that that is being sort of asked or requested of people traveling in country. And so let's kind of asterisk that and put that you know aside in case that maybe is relevant here too. Um, but this could be really good news, uh, something we've been waiting on for a while. I don't want to go real in depth on it. I just wanted to share that it, it does kind of it makes sense timeline wise uh, with what I had said earlier, talking about in the fall, particularly October, November, um, there's political happenings, not just in the US, but also in China. And so there's a reason for there to be lots of good news, lots of positive things happening, the economy to look stronger than maybe it is. Certainly that would be the case in the US because I know we're, it's, a, it's a tough time right now in the US. Uh, but all things being equal, let's see how this plays out. And I don't want to get ahead of myself and say, oh, it's a done deal. I really had never been worried about this with respect to Neil at any point. But let's just sit back and see how this goes. Specifically, what I'm watching for now, and I already was watching it today, is trade volume. Trade volume for some of the key companies, for Alibaba, for KWeb, uh, for Neo and for several others, I just want to see an uptick in trade volume. I think that might be an indicator for those of us, if we're paying attention, that big money is going to start coming back into the market in China. I have a feeling we're going to see that inflow of big money um, as sort of, all right, yeah, they're finding out that this is going to happen and, and that will maybe be a, an early sign for us that it really is a done deal. Again, something I haven't been tripping on or worried about or stressed over, but it'll be nice to have it done and behind us. Uh, and congrats to everybody who bought at discounts <laughs> along the way or who has better positioned themselves, who sees this as a long-term play. Hey, folks, I'm going to wrap this thing up. But I wanted to speak on that briefly. There's so much more going on. I haven't even started to cover it. It's just, and that's kind of why I picked this company and this brand to sort of specifically focus on with my channel because I knew there was so much happening. There's no way I can keep up with it all. But that's kind of, I'm bullish on the company long-term. It's it's great news. Uh, a lot of good things coming. Hey folks, do me a favor, come back and see me again. But whatever else you do, get those seatbelts fastened because it feels like we haven't been moving anywhere, at least not in a forward direction in a while. But this thing could be getting ready to take off. Thanks folks. We'll see y'all again real soon.